really okay. La 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 la. la. Okay. Let's start it. everyone so this is my very first beauty video here on YouTube and I am super excited to um, start this channel it's going to be filled with all things beauty and fashion um, makeup style all that fun stuff I was trying to think of what I was going to do for my first video and I have like a ton of ideas of things that I want to do but I thought that I would start off by doing a favorites video. I know we're kind of um, heading into November already and it's getting kind of late but I wanted to just kind of squeeze in there with my October favorites because I love favorites videos. I think everybody loves favorites videos. So uh, let's jump in and start with my first favorite. So my first favorite of the month is actually a foundation and it's from Maybelline and it's their Super Stay Micro Flex Formula Foundation uh, 24 Hour Wear. Yeah, I have been using Revlon Color Stay Makeup for almost two years, on and off. Um, now I don't wear makeup every single day. It is my go-to foundation when I do wear makeup because I do want full coverage and I do want something that's not going to transfer and that's gonna wear a long time. If I've had the time to actually put makeup on, which is rare, uh, I want it to stay all day, so I don't have to worry about it wearing off. I've been using that for a while, but the only thing I don't really like about it is that it really feels heavy on your skin, and even though it is a full coverage foundation, um, it really does feel like you're wearing foundation. Well, I've never really been crazy about that, but I hadn't found anything else that really replaced it that was like inexpensive until this one. And I am in love with this foundation because it has the same amount of coverage. Um, it wears just as long, if not longer, but it feels like you're not wearing like anything. I mean, this foundation is fabulous. I definitely put this to the test because I have four kids and they, you know, slobber all over me and they you know, give me truly kisses all day. And I mean, I put this stuff through the ringer. So if I'm telling you it lasts, I'm telling you it lasts. Yeah, check it out. That's a good one. Okay, and the other um, product I've been loving this month, well, products, I guess, are two blushes from NYC. Um, the first one is 653 Park Avenue Plum. And it looks like this. And I don't really understand what the plum is about. Um, I mean, I'm not an expert with color, but it does not look plum to me at all. It's a very neutral kind of blush and it kind of just gives you like a natural flush to your skin where it like doesn't really look like you're wearing blush, it just sort of enhances your cheeks if that makes sense. I just like it because it's a good everyday blush um, and it doesn't make you look like overdone or made up or too like, I'm wearing blush. I like that one a lot. And the other one I like as well from NYC is 655 Central Park pink. Uh, it probably looks exactly the same as the other one I just held up side by side and maybe you'll see a bit of a difference. So this one here is the Central Park pink and this one here is the uh, Park Avenue plum. So you can see this one's a lot more like neutral looking and this one definitely has like a rose kind of color to it. It's a very very light light pink color and um, you know it's probably like a step above this one as far as the intensity of the color goes. It gives you more color to your cheek but not crazy color. Um, and I mean these are pretty pigmented blushes. It's just that um, you don't have to worry about overdoing it with them. You can you know put them on and they're pretty foolproof so I like this one a lot too. The other two products that I've been uh, really liking this month um, and I've been wearing them a lot because um, I've been trying to play up my eyes a little bit more, you know, kind of just for fall and experimenting with color and stuff like that. I've been doing a lot of looks with a nude lip and so um, I've been using these Rimmel um, lip products. The first one is um, Nude Delight and it's number 700 and it looks like this and it's just a very nude color and it's delightful. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> like I said, I'm wearing it today and it's just very, you know, a nude color. And this is from their Moisture Renew line. So I find that just using it on its own can kind of give you that dead look sometimes. So I pair it with the Rimmel Vinyl Gloss in, what is the 
Paparazzi, 770 Paparazzi is this one. Basically, it's like the sister color to this lipstick. I mean, when you hold them up together, I can do it. Um, they look almost identical in color. This kind of just gives it dimension and kind of, you know, like livens up the color a little bit. So I really like this combination together. The other product I've really been loving actually for the last few months is the Revlon Color Stay. Oddly enough, it's the Revlon Color Stay. Um, brow enhancer this one that i use i think there's two or three different colors and the one that i use is medium brown and um, it comes with a highlighter on one side and then the brow pencil on the other side tinted wax and let me just try to <laughs> okay it's a tinted wax and so um it kind of has the consistency of a wax which would make sense because it's a tinted wax and i just really like how it goes on because it goes on light um, but because of the um, texture of it, it really helps to kind of tame your brows and keep them in place like all at once. So I mean, you use this thing and it's like one step and you're done. I don't really use the highlighter too much just because I don't really find it shows up very much. Like I don't even know if you could see it on my skin. Well, yeah, you can. Okay, I'm a big fat liar. My last two products um, are kind of just not makeup but beauty type things. My EOS Lip Balm, which is this one in the peach colored tube. I don't know what you call it. Sphere. I don't remember what this flavor actually was. Uh, mango something or other. It smells like sour candy and I'm in love with sour anything. I mean, when I smell this, it literally makes me like think that I'm about to bite into a sour patch kid it's so potent and like <laughs> i mean this thing is moisturizing and it does a really good job on my lips but honestly i use it mostly just because of the smell <laughs> i'm just happy that it actually does something good for my lips but it's insanely crazily good i'm like sniffing it like i'm getting high on the smell okay the last product that i have um for my favorites is uh, the Aveeno Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser and it looks like this. It's just a little pump on the top and it just comes out like a foam. Um, it's super light. It's a great everyday cleanser. Um, it takes off your makeup really well. It's um, really good for sensitive skin. It's great around your eyes. It's not going to agitate your skin or irritate your skin. I use this every day. It's, it's just a really good cleanser. It smells awesome. I mean, if you've used Aveeno products, they kind of all smell the same. They just kind of smell clean. So yeah, that's definitely a favorite. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, leave a comment below if you'd like, and I will see you guys later.